It's great to be with you for another daily devotion. And it's the day after Thanksgiving. And I certainly hope that you had a blessed day um, celebrating however you could with as many people that were there in your home. Now it's Black Friday. And traditionally that's been a time where stores offer enticing sales to help us begin the Christmas shopping season. The online people have Cyber Monday and today for a lot of retailers, it's Black Friday. Challenging time with the pandemic, but they're trying to do everything they can to entice us to purchase things. These are things that you could purchase at a better price. Many years ago, I remember being in Toledo, Ohio. We actually went back and visited some friends and we were there for Thanksgiving. And we went to a Sears store at a mall nearby. We got there very early in the morning and Bill and myself, we went into the tool area and I bought wrenches and sockets and I still have them to this day. And we bought them because it was such a good price. It was a really good deal. Now, just for a moment on this Black Friday in that regard, think about the value that Jesus is to us. In other words, he did everything on the cross for us. He paid for all of our sins, and it doesn't cost us anything. So if you look at it from that perspective just for a moment, what you begin to realize is that this is the best deal that will ever be offered to us in our entire life. Heaven, a relationship with Jesus, all paid for by Christ on the cross, and the ticket then to get to heaven is free we will never have a better opportunity than that to purchase anything. It's free. Who wouldn't want that? But just for a moment, I want you to think about it from the other perspective, from God's perspective, who so loves the world that he sends Jesus into the world to give his life for us. Now, the interesting thing about that is, is that if he's going to give his life for us, well then, the price for us, it's his life. That's an incredible amount to pay. In other words, he has to pay everything that he has in order to redeem us. So, that Good Friday, which we call Good Friday, and we look at it and think of it in the terms of the day after Thanksgiving, all these sales, it's an incredible situation for us. But for Jesus, it costs him everything. In fact, Paul is writing about how we should live our lives and how we care for ourselves and, and live moral, upright Christian lives. And then he ends in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. He says, his rationale is, he says, for God. In other words, the reason you should live for Jesus and by how we live out our life, he says, because God bought you with a high price. In other words, you weren't some bargain for God. You weren't like the Black Friday bargain, God, you can get all these people, it's really cheap today because they're really bad sinners. No, it did quite the opposite. It actually starts charging more and more and more. In fact, Jesus says, well, what's it going to cost to redeem mankind? Well, there's no prize, Jesus. It'll cost you your life. And Jesus generously and graciously walks to the cross for you and for me. It's the best offer ever given to us, and it cost Jesus his life to redeem us. What a gift we are offered. Let's pray. God, I thank you for your love to us and your grace. We are thankful this day after Thanksgiving. We are thankful for so many things in this world we're thankful for doctors and nurses and hospitals and the researchers working on the pandemic. We're thankful for all of those things. Thankful for family, friends. But we are most thankful for you and your incredible love that carried you to the cross to die for us. So we're thankful for that. And today, Lord, we're mindful that it cost a lot. We weren't a bargain. It would cost you your life, but you willingly gave it because you love so much. We are thankful for it. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend.